Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create the Gherkin in Revit. Let's get started. So let's open a new architecture template. So in level one, let's create some reference plane. I'm gonna create one in the middle, like this. Rename this, midline, and press escape. Let's go to south elevation. Let's create some floors. So I'm gonna click on level two and then click array and let's put this at 44 let's just maintain 4000 this is just a rough estimation of the gherkin And then with this, we can erase because the gherkin has 41 floors. So let's erase this top level. And let's rename this at 41. Okay, so now let's go to view, plan view, and then floor plan. Level 3 is selected, scroll down, hold shift, and click level 41, and then press OK. So now that we have that, we have on up to level 41. Go back to south elevation. So the gherkin has 180 meters. So roughly this one. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add we're going to go to massing inside in place mass and then press ok create a line in the middle click name or pick a plane and then look for reference plane midline the one that you created Create a line in the middle, so all the way down, press escape, and then click the spline. So we're going to create it from the down, from below. So I'm just going to estimate this, something like this. The good thing about spline is you can click it afterwards and you can move it. You can even drag the points.
So once you're satisfied with the shape, select both of the lines and then click create form, solid form. It will show an option here. Click this option. And if we look at it at 3D, it will look like this. So now click the first half and the second half. Hold control button and click the second half. And after that, click divide surface. And then you can choose the pattern afterwards. Look for triangle bend. I'm going to set this to 20 and 20. So now that we're done, go to file. We're going to create a family. And this will be metric curtain panel pattern base. Press open. Click the grid and then change this to the triangle bend. So once you have the triangle bend, add point element and then press escape. Click that point element and Let's add a circle first. On 300. Press escape. And then, then click the line. And just create a square inside. You can remove the circle now and select this plus hold control and select this lines and then click create form and then after that Select this line again and create form again. This will be for the glass. Select this and then change the positive offset to 30. And while it is selected, we can create a material parameter and choose instance parameter and then this will be the class press ok and then click the frame press escape for the the glass and then click the frame and then click this associate par um, parameter and then we're going to create the frame change this to instance press ok and then ok but before we load this i'm going to set or i'm going to change 
the materials. So I'm saving this, so family one. So load the family. And let's look at it at 3D. Select both halves. And select the family that we created under triangle bend. Delete type and it will look like this. So what I'll do is I'm going to change the glass finish and I'll come back when it's done. So after 30 minutes of changing the glass finish manually, this is what it looks like. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.